Hello and welcome to tutorial number 18. Uh, today we'll be discussing hopefully two fields, field types that were previously commercial and have been added as core field types to Community Builder 2.0, specifically the file field and the video field. Uh, hopefully we'll get through both today. So if you remember last time our additional info tab had two fields, the gender field and the birthday field. Today we're going to go to the back end. I filtered the additional info tab for the two fields and I'll create first a file field. So I would go new field, let's just call this file, the title, and file could be the name. Uh, please upload your file. And instead of text field, which is a default, I would select a drop down, find the file field. Uh, I'm going to turn this off from registration so it does not appear on the registration form. And then let's go and check out the. Let's go and check out the parameters. I have layout. I won't touch these. Display, keep it default. It basically tells you if you want to force download or not. You can read the tooltip here if needed. Let's just go to the validation part now. It basically gives us a list of uh, allowed file types. So it's the extension zip, RAR, doc, PDF, TXT, XLS. I guess that's good enough. We'll keep it like the way it is. The it has a minimum file size and maximum in uh, kilobytes. So here we have maximum of one megabyte. Basically, we'll keep that the way it is. And there's also a terms and condition tab that we can basically enable or disable here. So the idea is that along with the upload of the file, the user basically is confirming that. Uh, he has read our terms of and conditions for uploading a file. Could be things like, you no, know, you cannot upload something that you don't have the rights to, and, and, and so on. So let's just keep the default values the way they are. And let's go to the front end and do an edit. Go to the additional tab, and we'll see here. Oops, sorry. would input it. <coughs> yeah, one second. The idea, the problem is I didn't actually put that in the additional tabs field. See, it's on the contact info. So let me just go and edit it and put it in the additional tab field. There we go. Additional info tab. Now, if I do a refresh here, I should see the file field in my additional info tab. So from a drop down, I select upload file. It gives me the file types that are allowed and the maximum size. So let's just go and select, let's find a PDF file actually here. I have one handy that's under, here we go. 221k. Okay, and update. And now if I look at the additional info tab, I see the file I uploaded. It's actually linked, so if I click on that, it should open a new tab with the file. Now, let's just take a quick look at the back end, see where exactly was this uh, uploaded to. So let me just show you here this is my cb tutorial site if i look in the images folder of the site comprofiler i will see 
a folder called plugin cb field cb file field if i click that i see 801 801 is actually the id of the user that uploaded the file and this is the uploaded file so this is what's happening in the background let's take that out great so let's go back now and look at the fields we actually created in our additional info tab and let's create another field as you remember i was going to show you the video field also so let's just scroll down video field this was also a paid extension before community builder 2.0 and now it's free i hope you guys appreciate it <laughs> Uh, let's just call this video video put that again it's not making a mistake put on the additional info tab turn it off for registration go to the parameters area display uh, this is the thumbnail basically it tells us the width height and the thumbnail with height. I mean, you can make this smaller if you want. This is for uh, this for profile view, basically, and this is for user list view. Let's keep the defaults. Upload. It tells us if we're allowing upload or not. Uh, we can actually allow people to upload videos the same way they uploaded files to our website. Of course, you have to consider that storage is probably a limitation. Uh, and people can link also to the uploaded videos or the linked videos and terms and condition again again I'm leaving everything default and let's go back to the front end now do a refresh we see we have a video field nothing here initially do an edit update your profile and what I'm going to do right now here with the video field, I will not actually upload a profile. I will link to a video file. And what I want to do here is I'm going to find from YouTube one of our tutorials, the first one. And I go to the share link here of the tutorial and just copy this, the URL down here. So move that away and paste it in this box here and update. And if we look at the additional info tab now, we'll see our video here, which we can just start, click on and play. Cool. So we've seen how to use these two new fields, the file field and the video field. And of course, you can turn these on for a user registration they act like any other community builder field so there's a lot of flexibility you can use it for example the file field for people uploading their cv their resume or video field you might want to allow them to post a personalized video message in their profile okay i think we've covered these two topics plan uh, that i planned today so thanks for listening again See you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.